what is going on guys what is going on you know what it is today is let's get right into it hey Buddha bless Already starting off bad. It's not the old ring of kill. It's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never hear who? No. Yo ho, ring gay, kill. You call me a nappy head hoe? What you say? You think there's a black people over here? You can't call nobody nappy head hoe. What do I got over here? She said nappy head hoe. Oh, man. So, what do you want to tell us, baby? Okay. Wait. Well, I think what you are doing, correct me if I'm wrong, is trying to get women to be more respectful to men? No. Okay. What I'm trying to do is help women understand what the kind of men they want, want from a woman. Can you help me? What kind of man do you want? Nope. Nope. I want a nice, uh, responsible man. Um, I want a family man, a business man, a man who likes to nope. read. Nope. Right? So she's looking for a superman. A man who likes to read and do what? Right? A man who likes to read and pray, who's a businessman and family man, and what else? You want a family man, a nice man, a responsible man, a man like right? Like he's like this doesn't exist. Right, a businessman, a man who likes to read. Like how many men out there actually like to read? Like come on. Mm -hmm. Oh. So she's basically looking for her counterpart, who happens to be a man but act like a woman. Good luck with that one. That's a big that's a big age range. Oh, above twenty five. Twenty eight. Are you? Nope. You ain't gonna find a twenty five year old with the list of things you want. Like that's impossible. But she has no idea. Twenty eight. You want children? I want them. Oh. I mean, Three to five. Oh, no. What state do you live in? New York. City? New York. New York State or New York City? New York City in New York. Okay. Do you want to be a stay at home wife? Yes, but I like to work. Guys, is she a stay at home wife? Mm -hmm. Did you go to college? Finish is like PhD or finish. Finish bachelor's graduate. I have a bachelor's. In what? Education. She said finish as in PhD, so that tells you she probably wants to go back to school. Okay, so you're broke. All right. Uh, yes. Yeah, you're broke. Yeah, you're broke. And how many? How much money would a man need to make in New York City to raise a family of five? Of a wife and him, so seven. She has no idea, but I'll give you guys a clue. In 2022, it's about uh, 250000 to get a kid to 18 years old. So let's times that by five. So this man needs 1.25 mil to possibly get those kids to college. Well, no, that's just to get them to 18. That's not including college. Well, I don't have to stay here. But... Okay, but you're going to have to meet him here, so we start. Okay, a lot. I don't even know. You don't, a lot you don't even know but these are things you need to know if you want those things how are you going to get what you want if you don't know what you need to get it that doesn't make any sense it's almost like like she went to college right so say she wanted to be a doctor she had to find out what she needed to do to be a doctor it's the same thing if you want to be a wife or a housewife don't you need to find out what you need to do to get there it's the same thing that's the problem See, when I ask you what you want to make, so they you know, they don't take their relationships as seriously as they take their schooling, and school ain't gonna save you. If you think school's gonna save you, huh, 
I got li loads and lists of stories to tell you to take that statement back. Obviously, we're going to get right down to it. And you ladies really want a lifestyle that comes attached to you. How much does it cost to have five kids? And the average child in this country... She don't know. It's about $300,000 per kid, middle class. He's, he's, uh, he's being nice. You want your kids to go to college? Yeah. Of course, but I don't know much. Hold on, hold on, hold on. She said, of course. Of course, what do you mean, of course? You know that ass. Of course. She said, of course. What do you mean, of course? You need to ask a few questions first before you just say, of course. Hold on, do you want to be able to travel uh, domestically? Thoughtless. Your she's gonna say yeah. Yes. Okay, so you're talking about. There, like, I don't know any woman that's gonna say no to that, but she's not thinking of the cost of that. Five hundred thousand dollars. You want two point five million dollars worth of kids plus you and him. How much would your husband need to make since you are gonna stay at home? She don't know, nor does she care. Um, like you said, millions. Right. And that's what Disney has sold you. You think you deserve a man that makes millions? Like, I'll be the first to tell you. Nope. So that's much more than a nice man, a businessman, a family man, a man who prays, a man who likes to read. You want a rich man? Nope. Because he has to be well, rich. I mean, and all other things, man. I, I listen very well, and I pay, I, I, I'm too good at what I do. Yeah. Don't play. You want a rich man. That's all I want. Yeah. 5'11". Dress up. Whoa, she did not look that tall, but okay. Ten, so no, you don't qualify for that. Oh, hell no. oh, oh, oh. You wait, last time you waited this up? One ninety. Uh, okay. Um yeah, let's say Like no rich man wants a hundred and ninety pound woman. I'm sorry. I just they just don't. Um on a scale from one to ten Fresh face out of the shower here, national face. Uh oh, this is gonna be diluted. Get ready for this answer. What's your rankings? Just your face. You can't use seven. Um, I'm eight. Yeah, let's subtract four from that. Beyonce's an eight. She thinks she's on that level. Look at her face. Look at her face. She truly believes. That she's on that level of Beyonce. I know. You know. So you oh my God, guys! <laughs> she just compared herself to a billionaire who is beautiful and has access to all the luxuries to keep herself looking beautiful. Like this is what we're dealing with. We're dealing with someone who actually thinks she's competing with that. Up there with Beyonce. Yeah, I didn't get out the shower just now. Oh my god. Alright, you got out the shower. And we're looking at you and you no one is blowing up his line trying to get at you. Like at all. At all. And if you were on her level, why are you so covered up? Why are you so modestly dressed? Why are you wearing glasses? You you are not like stop it. She can't even say this with a straight face. Okay, you take off your glasses? Exactly. I just said the same damn thing. Nope, nope. See, she can't even make the case. Can't even say with a straight face. Covers the face. Stop it. Stop it. Six. At, at most, he's being really nice. Like he's being absolutely nice. I don't have Beyonce's money either. Excuse me. I don't have Beyonce's money either. Oh, and that's the point, though. That's what I just said. You don't have her money. You don't have anything she has to be that way. So how could you compare yourself? Like, bring yourself to reality. Have some humility. Well, Beyonce didn't have Beyonce's money until she earned it. And she, even when Beyonce didn't have that money, she was already stacked. She was already walking out of the house and eight. So how are you going to compare yourself to that? But you're not an eight. Like, people you're pay to see her, like... Right? For her looks. They don't no one's paying you for your looks. I mean, Beyonce's an eight. Shalee's an adjustable six. You're a six. You're cute. Not even. He's being nice. It's not a bad thing, you're cute. But it all comes he's, it's not even the point though. The point is he's trying to bring her back down to earth. Like, no, like stop. Like stop doing this to guys. Then you're gonna put a guy in a position to be like, nah, you're not that hot. When you like you should know that yourself. Down to an equation. At what point in life did a six foot tall, two hundred pound cute woman ever get rich? Me never. But I'm not 
200 pounds. Oh, oh. So we want to stress on the 5, 10 pounds and not the one inch or anything else, right? She's going to stress on that 10 pounds, but yeah, it's 200 pounds. 190 is 200 pounds. <laughs> and I'm not 60. Hey, 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 oh, see, let's stress on that one inch now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's stress on that. Yeah, and that's Again, another part. Wrong. Now it's all now it's all coming out. Now we see why she's single. Yeah. She belongs to the Because you asked me, you said, Can I help you? And I'm trying to help you. And the first thing is reality. Ain't nobody can help her. Wherever you think you rank is where you rank. Do you have millionaires, yeah. rich men fighting to marry you right now? Nope. I don't talk look at to her, enough Look at how she looked away. Let's look at this again. Look, look at this. Watch when he asks this question. I can marry you right now? Look, she looks away. That that means no, guys. We we already know that means no. But at this point, she's thinking of a lie to say so she doesn't look as bad. And let's see what is said. I don't talk to enough people to know. That's oh, you don't talk to enough people to know. So that's an absolute and emphatic, let's say... scary part every bit of yes ma'am you will and she says no 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 i'm special it won't happen to me it won't happen to me the weight's just gonna disappear somehow because you're not first of all this is not my first rodeo what is the when was the last time you were dress size for uh-oh uh-oh <laughs> this is where the lie comes out you already see her looking away let's let's think of the lie Boo! You know what? Because you don't just go from 50 pounds and then automatically jump to 190 pounds. There was a process along the way. So that that's complete. Boo! You know what? So thank you. You don't have a track record of being in shit. So you're not going to all of a sudden snap back. This is as good as it gets. So five kids, an additional 60 pounds. That's going to put you right at 250. Yep. 5 foot 150, 5. <laughs> Kids, average woman. I can't, I will never be 250. Yeah, you're literally knocking on the door of 200 pounds. And that's with zero kids. What do you actually think is going to happen if you have five kids? Like, honestly, and you're not working out at the moment, like, what do you think is going to happen? Like, on, like that's just a serious question I pose. After five children, you'd be lucky if you only two people. I'm an educator. I know yeah. how to handle Oh, kids. you're an educator, so that's going to protect you, right? Like, God, hopefully you're not educating people on healthy eating decisions. It's, it's not that. You don't even know how to handle a treadmill or a diet. Right. Why aren't you 145 pounds right now, educator? Yeah. I think that I'm going to go now. There we go. And th that's what it is, guys. The hard question comes out. So in other words, there is no reason or justification for her to be at that size. So now that she can't answer the question, she has to take off. Because things are getting tough. And when the going gets tough, the girl gets going, right? You need to go to the gym. Yeah, that's where you need I to go. Do. But, See, she okay. says it too. She does. She knows she does. But why aren't you? 
Why are you delaying this process? Um, yeah. okay, okay, you asked me, and I just told you, and you act like I'm offending you with the reality. See, this is the thing. I want you guys to understand. Reality is offensive to women because she wants five kids. She wants well, she, five kids. She, she, yeah, that's the thing. She, you want five kids, which is fine. You didn't think about what you needed to get that or what it would cost, which is fine. Okay, we'll give you that too. But you don't think about the process of that. Like, what do you think is going to happen when that happens? Like, they don't think about that. She would like to be a stay-at-home wife. And I didn't judge either way. I didn't judge either way, man. But you asked, and I said, all right, how much would a man need to make? You said, I don't know. And that's a problem, educator. How can you get something in this life that you don't even know? How can you Exactly. That's what I said earlier. I said three to five. Three to five. Three to five. Even so. So let's let's cut that in not even half. Let's say in a third that price of what the tag of that price that you would need. It's still a ton of money. That's not cheap. And you didn't think of that. Now that you realize how expensive it is, now you're saying, oh, three, three, three. three. That's what they always do. Five is too more than your can afford. You can't afford one. Right. I also said I... And she's not saying no to that because she knows it's true. Now that she realizes the numbers... And there's her other, another delusional woman, guys. Thanks for watching.